welcome to my bookbinding studio. I post weekly videos about my life as a bookbinder. So if you like paper, stationery, I welcome you to join me at Bitter Melon Bindery. This week I'm keeping it low key. I have some books to make for customers and I'm continuing to prepare for my sketchbook launch on June 18th. I'm excited to show you what I filmed this week. However you are and wherever you're at, get cozy and enjoy this vlog.
Hey, look at me. I'm going handheld. Oh, this this camera and the monitor is actually quite heavy, so my arms are already shaking. So, I have a question for you all. I have these scissors. I have these scissors that I got from Daiso a while ago. They have lasted a long time and now they're dull. I'm wondering if anyone has successfully sharpened their scissors. I've heard that you can cut sandpaper or aluminum foil um, and I know that like scissor companies make their own sharpeners for their own branded scissors um, but yeah if anyone has successfully sharpened like unbranded scissors or any pair of scissors let me know before I buy a whole bunch of sandpaper. I want to show you my dwarf fiddle leaf plant. Um, it used to be in my living room and I brought it up to this room to rehabilitate because it had lost all its leaves and in the last couple months it's grown all of these shoots. Um, for some reason this one didn't fully unfurl but it's looking pretty good. I just got back from shipping my week's orders and I stopped by Ikea to get another chopping board because I need to make another book press. The press I made can only hold four books and um, pressing four books each day um, I feel like won't be enough so maybe I'll get eight books going. Um, especially in the first little bit when I launch my sketchbooks. I'm saying books a lot. <laughs> when I was out I also picked up some more fold over elastic for my soft cover sketchbooks and notebooks. Um, I hope you enjoyed that vlog. I'm gonna go edit now. Um, I kinda like these low-key types of videos and I hope you enjoyed seeing the little details about my business. I am um, really happy about the hot foil stamping and I'm excited to see everyone's reaction to it. Um, I'm looking forward to taking a break this weekend and seeing what I can come up with for this vlog because Every week it's kind of a surprise and it's pretty spontaneous. Anyway, thanks for being here today and I'll see you next time.